prayer watchers today what i'll be doing for you is to share with you four prayer but then these ones are evening watches now i know you might be asking me do we have a specific time that we should pray at no yes at the same time you see the bible says that we should pray without season so every single time is time to pray but did you know that there is a specific time for a specific prayer point you know there's time for judgment there's time for mercy there is time for fellowship and all of those things are actually in your bible so what i will do for you today is i'm going to show you the four evening prayer watches and you can start observing them now i'm not saying that this should only be the time where you pray but i'm just giving you wisdom so that you know that for this specific prayer time I should be praying for this specific thing. Okay, so let's get right into it without wasting any more time. So the first prayer watch is actually from 6 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. Now I know you might be asking, but the, how can it be the first prayer watch? I thought maybe the first prayer watch would be maybe midnight, you know, in maybe 6 a.m. in the morning. Let us go to the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 6. And this is what it says. It says, God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Now, this is a custom that Jews actually uh, observe. Their morning doesn't start at 6 a.m. Their morning starts in the evening. So we wake up and say good morning when the sun has risen. But their morning is actually when the sun um, uh, sets. So it tells us that the night or rather the evening and the morning were called the first day. So this is why 6 p.m. is the first watch because that's when evening begins. 6 p.m. That's the first prayer watch. And now you might be asking yourself, what is this prayer watch specifically for? It is known to be um, the, the hour for healing. When we go to the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 16, this is, when we, this is where we hear that when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with a word. So we can actually see that this is pe people brought demon possessed people who were sick to the lord jesus in the evening so this is why this specific hour is known for healing but not only healing this is when actually the devil causes so much misunderstanding in families you know he brings division he brings arguments all of these things so this is where couples normally fight you know get into misunderstanding this is where abuse violence all of these things happen you know people become um sexually abused all of these things this is when it all happens so this is when you should be praying for marriage praying for blessings for wisdom you know praying for your future for endurance all of these things they are done in this specific hour but not only for that not only for that not only for your marriage not only for healing not only for unity or for wisdom, this hour is also known for meditation. Yes, it's also known for meditation, for clarity. You know, this is when you actually plan your morning or rather plan your day because the evening and the morning are known to be the first day. So this is when you actually plan your day. This is when you speak into your day because when you wake up at six o'clock in the morning, it's already day. It's already, it's during the day. So, this is the first prayer watch. It's called the evening watch. <laughs> These are the things that you observe. So I want us to now go into the, the second one. The second watch is from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. Now you might be wondering, what is this hour for? It's called the night watch. And actually this um, specific night hour or prayer watch time is all about your destiny, to be honest. It's all about favor. You know, this is when a lot of things get altered. This is when divine visitations are most likely to happen because a lot of people from 9 to, to midnight, this is where they go to sleep. This is where they receive divine visitations, you know, 
dreams that will give you an instruction as to how to go about your future. This is where you want to receive instructions from the Lord. So this is where you deal with destiny matters. Okay. This is where you pray for favor. This is where you pray for destiny helpers. This is where you even pray for instructions from the Lord to tell you what is the next move? What should I be doing right now? Lord, give me something that will change my life forever. But at the same time, this is where destinies are altered negatively and are hijacked. Because a lot of people, you will go to sleep, you will have a dream, you will have an encounter. Or this is where you want to go to sleep and then you start seeing these funny, funny things. And this is why it's very important why people should pray before they sleep. Now, I am I don't pray before I go to sleep because, I mean... As a superior spirit, <laughs> you function a little bit different from other people. But I always advise people to pray before they go to sleep because this is where you align yourself. When you pray in tongues, you, you directly align yourself with God. And this is where you are likely to receive divine dreams. You are likely to receive, you know, instructions from the Lord. You grow in that area of your specialization. If you are a seer, you will grow in that gift. In that gift, you are a prophet. You will grow in that gift. You are whatever you are. What 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 whatever it is that you are, it doesn't even have to just be a spiritual gift. Also, like maybe you're an entrepreneur. You, whatever thing that you are, this is where it is nurtured. This is where everything changes. This is where when you pray, you pray for favor. Lord, can you favor me? Not only should I be favored by God, I should also be favored by men. I made a video where I was explaining this thing that it is ignorance to only depend on the favor of God. Because you also need the favor of men. If we did not need the favor of men, the Bible shouldn't have told us that the Lord Jesus had favor with God and with men. Because this is the realm of men. This is the realm where dominion was given to men. So you're going to need favor with men. It's only in heaven where you need favor with God. So in this second prayer watch, you pray for your destiny. You pray for your children's destiny. This is all about your future, about your destiny, where you get to correct your mistakes, where you get to make life-changing decisions for the betterment of your future. Let's get into the third watch. Now, the third watch. This is the watch that a lot of people love uh, from midnight all the way to 3 a.m. It is called the midnight watch. This is the hour of deliverance, the hour of spiritual breakthrough. I know a lot of people think that this hour is the hour of spiritual warfare. It is not. You don't win. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. A lot of people say you wake up and you start praying against the witches and fight. No, 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 no. That's not what this hour is specifically for. Let us go to the book of Exodus chapter 11, all the way from verse 3 to 4. This is what it says. It says, And the Lord gave the people more favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. Then Moses said, Thus says the Lord, About midnight I will go out into the midst of Egypt. So this is when they actually were led out of Egypt. It was in midnight. Midnight is the hour of deliverance. Midnight is the hour where you are set free from all of those bondages that have been limiting you. So this is not where you are fight. No, this is the hour of deliverance. If there was something that was causing you to be limited, if there was a curse, if there was something in your bloodline that was causing you not to actualize, this is where you get delivered from it. When we look at the book of Judges chapter 16 from verse 3 also to verse 4, this is what it says. It says, And Samson lay low till midnight. Doors of the gate of the city and the two gate posts pulled them up, bar and all, put them in his shoulders and carried them, carried them to the top of the hill that faces Hebron. This is the hour of deliverance. This is the hour of breakthrough. L L I tell you the truth. I know that you were taught this is when you fight against witches. This is when you pull down and you root down and root up. And nah, 
This is the hour of deliverance. And I want to show you something also very, 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 very interesting. When you go to the book of Psalms chapter 100 and 19 verse 62, this is what it says. It says, at midnight, I will rise to give thanks to you. Remember the story of Paul and Silas. Was it Paul and Silas? Yes, it was Paul and Silas. They were in jail. And in the midnight, they started singing praises to the Lord. And out of nowhere, the earth started shaking. Chains broke. It is the hour of breakthrough, the hour of deliverance, the hour of praise. This is when you sing praises unto the Lord. Let me tell you something. There's a scripture in the book of Psalms that says the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Praise on its own is a wolf. It's a weapon. People don't know this. You can literally wake up start praising the lord you start dancing for god and this is how deliverance or breakthrough or favor can locate you it's not every single time where you are praying you know it's not every single time where you are saying things like in the name of jesus i bind i lose no sometimes you just need to praise and after praising you get your miracle let us get to the last prayer watch for the day now our last prayer watch uh is from 3 a.m to 6 a.m now this hour is known for the chosen the chosen people this is when they normally wake up that's me that's me this is uh, all my life from when i was young i don't wake up anything before 3 a.m if i so happen to wake up before it would be maybe around half two so this is when we wake up this is when we receive visions and dreams. This hour is known as the early hour watch. Early morning watch, rather. So this is the hour of the chosen, as I've said. This, this is literally, if you are chosen, this is your hour. This is your time to shine. So you might wake up at 3, some might wake up at 4, some might wake up at 5. But it is between the interval of 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Also, this is where you receive dreams and visions. Listen, I always tell people, everything that I have done in life, I saw it in a dream. I received it as an instruction as to where I went to go study, what I studied, what I do, how I, how I do stuff, how I do my content, what I talk about. These things, I normally receive them in my dreams as to which church i should go to where i should fellowship i believe even the man that i will marry god will reveal him to me in my dreams i tell you guys no lie why because this is the hour where the chosen people or let me say the sons of light shine but also this is known to be the darkest hour of the night because this is where these witches and these people do their activities this is this is known to be the the darkest hour not just because it's dark but because this is where negative energy is literally high they are doing their stuff at this interval and if you do not know this this is where you're going to fall prey of their of their stuff i want us to quickly look at the book of genesis chapter 2 i mean rather genesis chapter 32 verse uh 26 this is when the angel said to jacob and he said let me go for the day breaks this is the time where jacob received a blessing where his name was changed from jacob and it was israel yes this hour is the hour that can literally change your life for the good you could have woken you could have slept broke and you woke up rich you could have slept without a business idea and you receive a business idea you could have slept directionless you wake up with direction. This is literally, look at how Solomon went to bed without wisdom. But when he woke up, he was the wisest man on earth. Why? Because this is the hour where people receive blessings. This is the hour where people receive divine dreams, divine visions from the Lord. This is the hour where the chosen shine. So these are the prayer watches that one should observe and on my next video i am going to tell you guys the most important prayer watch because as i've told you guys i on this video i literally just dealt with the evening ones with the night ones we also do have the the day ones from 6 a.m to 9 a.m 
9 a.m to 12 a.m so i'm going to be dealing with those on the second video and on the second video i will actually tell you guys which prayer watch is important and you have to observe it so my name is sister joy i am the girl behind Joker jesus joy thank you so much for tuning in to yet another youtube video and i'm super excited that these videos are bringing you spiritual insights they're giving you wisdom they're giving you knowledge and understanding for you to also function at your best optimum level so also you need to know or let me tell you this tip as to how to know which prayer watch you should observe because every believer has a specific prayer watch to observe but i will tell you guys that on the next video so please do tune in shalom